we give voice to the collective memory of species and spaces, the animated and inanimate, historic here and hereafter. An ethics of the encounter encourages more sensitivity to alternative, more than human timescales, disrupting the linear concept of time imposed by colonialism. We question the scientific revolution that seeks to master nature and remake the earth as an object for human use, while casting ourselves as actors in a story of continual progress. Icarus is the story of the young god who was told not to fly too close to the sun. He had wings of wax but he flew too near the sun and the wings melted and he fell into the sea and drowned. So it's an image of, of certainly of extraordinary invention, of extraordinary power, and then of incredible overreach and ego. Uh, it, it's an interesting image for space travel. That sense of humans being in space is I think what people largely like to think of when they're thinking of species and other species. But I think that the idea of being of, of us and interspecies is so much closer. Like the long history of pre-colonial Australia, there is such a strong understanding of being of the land, with the land, and I think that's where that, that strong history comes back in to support us at a time when we're in, in such disarray and in such dismay uh, because of our lack of connection. I think that the, the mycelium that enables plants to talk to each other, it's a very lovely idea, I think, connectedness and communication amongst plants. It's a kind of a bacterial connectedness. That bacteria is also in us and we're only starting to learn about its influence on us and our well-being. And I think that's probably more akin to my understanding of what art is. That sense of a, a poetic other way of relating or other poetic possibilities of relating. Interspecies and other others lived and alive. A connected world of all beings in awe of the wondrous beauty and complexity of our coexistence. Welcome to the imaginary.